from AliExpress, part two. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> What's happening? Welcome to part two from uh, the studio here in South Carolina. Part two of ordering from AliExpress. Man, I'm going to tell you. And uh, ah, there she is right there. I got to work the mixer and everything else. So I'm a one-man show. There is the EVH fakie right there. And uh, I'd say about, uh, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes ago, we finally got finished assembling everything. Um, so it's a pretty long story here. So uh, I'm recording this, of course, and uh, uh, it's just going to turn out better that way. So I think it's going to be shocking. I mean, I was I was shocked. I was like, you know, I thought it was going to be more money. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it turned out really good. And so, okay, first of all, let me address this because I know people. I ha I seen a comment the other day. I said, "Wow, you ordered from AliExpress? Are you kidding?" And uh, yeah, man, I did. I did. Again, uh, I call it the EVH fakey. Uh, props to Andrew Knox for coming up with that with that name, <laughs> that title. Uh, uh, yeah, I was. I, look, man, I've looked at all kind of AliExpress uh, videos on YouTube, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was like, I don't know about that, you know, because it's. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, like I've said before, I can't speak for none of that. I, this is my first experience with this, and uh, I, it all comes down to the seller, you know that, because there's so many uh, different sellers on AliExpress. But it all comes down to the seller, and, and are they going to are they going to do do you right? And uh, with Andrew Knox's information, uh, he was kind enough to uh, send me the link for the seller that he used. And uh, so he got his guitar first. He sent me pictures. We talked on the phone um, about it a few different times. And he said he was very impressed. And I was like, wow, really, man? He's like, yeah, I'm very impressed. Um, so I was like, man, I would love to have a <laughs> EVH uh, uh, Frankie, okay, you know, but uh, man, I just can't. I just can't wrap my head around dropping over two grand after tax and everything for a guitar. I just, I just can't, can't. For me personally, I just can't fathom that. Um, again, for people who have done that, or for any guitar, I mean, it's, it's their money. They can do what they want. I'm just speaking for me. Um, so I was like, well, I don't want to drop two grand. So this will be the closest thing I can get to it. And it, and. I was very, very impressed, like you've seen in part one, uh, with the uh, the relic job, the paint job. You know, is it spot on exact? Of course not, but man, it looks great. I mean, when Eddie would build his guitars, they weren't, they didn't look alike. All of them had a little difference in them somewhere, and they were just from parts. You know, so it was like there was really no solid blueprint. He would just throw stuff together to make it work for him. And, and that's kind of what's going on here, you know, uh, for me anyway, uh, kind of, sort of. So I said, I was laying in bed uh, one night after work, and I said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get it. And uh, so I pulled the trigger and ordered it, and the very next day, man, I got a notification that it was shipped. I was like, wow, that was fast. And um, they provided a tracking number now. Uh, again, Andrew was kind enough to uh, help me. Uh, he sent me a link to uh, track an item that's coming from overseas because the tracking with AliExpress isn't good. It's just, you know, it still says that <laughs> it's at the facility and, and it's waiting to be shipped and when it's already gone and, you know, already left on the boat and everything else. Uh, so anyway, once I got that squared away, I was able to really see exactly where it was at. And once it uh, came across... Uh, to, uh, to the States and it hit the uh, customs in New York 
it was like two days after that it was at my front door man it was here and it's like whoa man so uh it was fast i mean for the whole process you're looking at um i don't know man probably about a week i mean that's the way it was for me uh, and again, like Andrew, we were talking and he said, I, he believes that the seller makes these in batches because when he ordered his, he had to wait like an extra week. I guess the guy had to, had to make some or whatever. I don't know. Uh, the good thing is when he has pictures of what you're buying and it looks like he's, he's in a factory It's what it looks like in the background. I don't know, uh, but it's what it seems like to me. And he's showing pictures of what you're actually going to get. And that's exactly what it was man it was i was like whoa i just got finished leaving the guy a five-star review and as you've seen in part one it got it got here and i you know unboxed it and i was like wow um so i did change the neck on it um and i did change the uh, floyd uh okay so my initial plan was to also swap out the pickup and uh andrew said that he checked um uh, the reading on his pickup and it was like I don't know 13 or 14 what it was reading and I was like really? I thought it'd be like maybe 8 or something like a week pickup and he said nah man and he said this pickup in mine is, is high, high gain and I was like okay so I plugged mine into the, the half stack here and uh, it sounded incredible I couldn't believe it I was like what? and uh, so the pickup is is hot man it's a high gain pickup is it like that in all of them i don't know i don't know but so i bought uh, a humbucker the marzio tone zone but i didn't install it i didn't need to you know because i i just figured it was going to be a weak pickup so i didn't install it actually i have two pickups you know and i'll get into that in a minute so um tonight uh it is, Lord, it's Friday night. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> Get my days mixed up working the night shift. Uh, I came in here and um, after I did some other chores for today, I came in here and I got the uh, the new neck was delivered yesterday. I got it on and I bought tuners, got a new neck, put the new Goto Floyd on. Uh, I left the electronics alone in it. I didn't even, I didn't need to. It's fine the way it is. And, uh, uh, again, I was, I was like, wow, I got very lucky, I guess. So we're going to go over everything that I purchased and where I got it from and the grand total of everything. So let's start with the guitar itself. Now you can see here that uh, this is AliExpress, uh, of course, the website. And this is exactly the seller right here. This is, you see, it looks like a, a factory back there. in the background and uh this is it so um it's 296.87 now with with uh tax and all uh, it came for me it was around 340 bucks and that shipped to my door uh so yeah that is uh that's the guitar right there that is it i don't know what this does if you hit play i have no idea i've never okay it's just showing a video here there it is right there. Now you can see the trim system is very shiny. It's a Floyd Rose 2 for the most part. Um, uh, and the neck is a 21 fret and it's it's kind of finished. It looks like it's got that worn look. Look at the relicking. The relicking is incredible. I mean, it's that's how mine is. It's Mine is a little bit more relic than that. But the neck is great. Again, that, that locking nut on there is is cheap okay uh the neck is good but it's a 21 fret neck and I, I i like to have a 22 fret i kept the neck um now the reflectors on the back those those are stickers they're not actual reflectors which you know what do i care didn't bother me none uh, but yeah i mean the relicking is incredible on the guitar i was just now the white uh knob is it does say volume uh for the heavy duty evh fans it, they know it's supposed to say tone but again no big deal to me not a big deal 
so you're looking at uh, with this um, you're looking around three hundred and forty dollars total okay so as we go along I'm gonna make sure my calculator is ready to go here uh, let's see okay we're gonna we're gonna punch these numbers in I'm just gonna type in 340 because that's that's what it was okay all right so let's uh, take that off and let's go to the next the next item up for bids <laughs> uh, this is a site called guitar fetish all right and I heard about this site from guitar max and this is a uh, Alenco fat uh, boutique humbucker zebra and it's quick plug ready now when I saw that I didn't know I was like quick plug ready so then I was like oh that'd be great because I don't want to have to solder anything so they actually and you can see I selected the bridge position humbucker and it's 14k that's just a little bit hotter than what's in the EVH fakey right now so that is a hot pickup and uh, so if you go down here uh, they have what they call a quick plug system and I don't know let's see if we can I don't know if we can see this any better or not I don't know there we go um, so uh, it's like a solderless kind of deal and uh, so it comes with the with the pickup which I think is fantastic you can see it right there um, it has a, an actual male end but uh, for that to work you have to order the the uh, the other wiring uh, kit uh, solderless kit that has the input jack and all that and, and then it has the female end on it so i ordered that too because okay i was like uh all right uh but i didn't use none of this because i didn't change the electronics but i'm still going to add this in to the uh to the budget how much how much is this again uh I think it was uh oh yeah it's thirty dollars okay all right so let's add this plus 30 yeah all right because it comes with the, the uh, wiring kit and all that is that i thought that was a great deal so i have i have that pickup laying around extra for for uh, another time um we're going to go to mighty might now this uh site here is I've actually ordered a neck from here before uh, if you're looking for great guitar necks at a great price man go to Mighty Might uh, a lot better than some of the others I looked at they were way high but Mighty Might is is uh, fantastic um, I ordered the R3 locking nut uh, compound maple fretboard so they have it they have the cutout already here uh, for your R3 uh, locking nut placement which is great so and this jumbo frets I, I like jumbo frets it's a lot easier to do tapped harmonics and stuff like that and it's a hundred and fifty dollars so uh, and they charged uh, they charged twenty dollars to ship it and it got here in I think two days it was here so <laughs> it got here fast so let's let's see one okay that's 170 oh rats I messed up let me uh, okay 170 okay all right now moving right along I'm glad I made tabs of this stuff because I I, uh, I there's no way I could remember all this stuff uh let's go on to the next one and uh, share screen and i'll show you what else that i got for the upgrade process um, amazon is your best friend with stuff like this i got the gold uh titanium finish screws man for the for the floyd uh, i mean for the locking nut excuse me and uh 1785 i mean come on man a lot better than the other site I used to use the that that other uh, place was three times this you know and, and it's titanium so you know if you're looking for 
uh, and they have all different colors they got the green the gold the purple the blue the, um, silver black i mean i'm so glad amazon finally jumped on this bandwagon here because it's uh they work great i, I put them on tonight and tightened them down really tight as i could because you know that's how it, you know you want to do you want it to be to stay in place and eddie always had his tight as he could get it too so titanium for just under 20 bucks is great and the gold just pops man it just really looks cool um let me see if i can add this into the into the budget so 17.85 we'll just say we'll round it up to 18 bucks you know okay now the next item let me mark this uh let's take this off there um and we're going to present uh and there's a couple of things i don't have up here that it wouldn't i couldn't get it to come up but i'll tell you what it is um okay the next item here is the official evh nylon strap from the van halen store.com you can see right here it's 37.95 these straps have have went up um they were around oh man i remember when you could get them for about 27 bucks between 27 and 29 and they've jumped up um so we'll say uh we'll say 38 dollars uh for this and now what i'm not pulling up on here is the eye hooks and the dog clasp now you can get those from the van halen store they they're pretty pricey um i get mine uh uh, there's a seller on eBay that I use. Um, I could probably just go up here to the hardware store and grab them, but I'm always on the road. I don't have time to go to the hardware store. I'm, I'm always in a rig, so I just order stuff that comes to the house. Um, so uh, that guy charged me um, for two eye hooks and two of the dog class. It was uh, it was twenty nine, right at twenty nine dollars. Uh, right in that ballpark so let's just let's just say 30 bucks um and i don't have a picture of that pulled up so uh okay now and i've already put those on as well so okay let's move along let's see here uh present the next item music lily ultra six inline 19 to 1 gear ratio guitar locking tuners man these are fantastic i've ordered this exact set a few times in the past and uh, they're they're amazing the quality is great again they're uh locking tuners um and they're you know the, the chrome i mean that goes with anything um and it, it's got the um what i was looking for was the tuners that i made sure they didn't have the little nipple on the back side uh if you know what i mean uh i want my tuners to be flush on the back side so when you put them against the back of the neck there's not a little nipple that you know you don't have to make another hole for the nipple to go in uh you want it to be flat and you know so right here is a great a great thing to do um to use rather to order uh when you're putting on a new neck or whatever and it's 40 bucks man and they're it's great quality you know it's fantastic so and again all these links will be in the description if you are interested in doing anything like this um it's it's great so let's see here so that's uh let's just say 41 dollars for the tuners all right uh 41 bucks okay now let's see let's go back again amazon is your friend that's right folks the goto floyd rose locking trim system this is the go-to place i have bought these things from so many different places online uh, the past two or three years amazon's got it i mean i've paid up to anywhere from 160 dollars and for gold ones i paid for like 225 for the gold uh you know gold plated or whatever um, but here these are really good the the fine tuners are really nice they're smooth uh, i can vouch for it. i mean i've i've ordered the goto floyds from amazon uh, many times and i've never been disappointed 
uh, everything you see here, you get. I mean, now I don't use the springs that come with this particular system because their springs are really uh, short uh, and they're really like high friction, like they're really tight. Um, so I, I use the regular silver springs, you know, that, that come with a guitar on the back. Um, if you don't have any of those, you could, you could uh, order some off Amazon. Shouldn't be no big deal. Uh, but the Goto Floyd here, let's see, $129.99, so $130, bucks, you know, let's see, $130, and okay, well, moving right along, let's see here, let's uh, take that off, and we will go, uh, we're almost done, believe it or not, uh, so... <laughs> Uh, we want to share a screen, and here we are. This uh, particular item, I went to Sweetwater to get. It's the the R3 locking nut, and I've ordered quite a few of these in the past. I'm just sh sharing all my secrets with y'all. Um, Floyd Rose FR1N R3BN 1000 series. Uh, it's the special R3 locking nut. Uh, black nickel so if you remember i ordered the the neck from mighty might it was for an r3 nut so you got to pay attention to that if you're going to do something like this make sure that <laughs> you get an r3 nut to match that that neck or if it's an r2 you know that you know vice versa whatever so because uh the r3 nuts are a little bit uh longer or should i say yeah, longer in length, you know, horizontally, I guess. Uh, so I got that from from uh, Sweetwater, and it's twenty four sixty five. Again, uh, I use the titanium locking screws on here because uh, these these black uh, screws that come with any type of locking nut uh, for me just don't cut it. it. They they will strip out on you. You start to put some t uh, heavy torque uh, with your Allen wrench or your Allen tool whatever um uh it, they, they'll strip they'll, they'll strip every time so it's good to to go for the like i said the titanium route or even the stainless steel it's good too uh that way you can torque it down and you're okay you know you're all right so let's see what we have here what do we have as far as a total uh as of right now we got with everything added in we have 822 dollars now you gotta give or take a little bit for tax and uh shipping so let's just say just for the hell of it let's just say 850 all right so 850 dollars all in right uh, as opposed to over two grand <laughs> so i'm very happy with it i'm very very happy with it I, I was just so shocked i never thought i'd have a guitar whoop over here dummy i never thought i'd have a guitar that was this style you know the the frankie style i never thought i'd have that and i, I mean i'd always look at them online i'd like yeah two grand nah and then lo and behold here we are and it's pretty darn close like i said i did a lot of upgrades on it now i did a lot i mean i played it as you saw in uh part one i played it um stock i didn't do a bar dive or nothing i didn't do none of that because i was like mm. uh, but i played it and it was fine it played great but you know if that neck would have had 22 frets the only thing i would have upgraded would be the the uh the trim and that was it but uh yeah, man, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And I ordered a case uh, this morning. I found a case, a hard shell case with TSA latches, $89.99, man. It pays to do some research online when you're looking for this stuff, man. You can save a lot of money. Um, the, get, the hard shell cases at Guitar Center are about uh, 100 Well, you can get them for 99 on Guitar Center online, but you can get at the same exact case at the store down here it's going to run you 120 and they don't have tsa latches they're just regular old latches uh, 
Um, but I got mine um, from uh, a site called Soundtown. It's all one word, Soundtown, Soundtown. And they sell all kind of uh, speakers and cabinets, and it's it's their brand. Um, um, and they sell guitar cases too. And, and uh, um, I just come across one that was on sale, and it said one left. I said, what? <laughs> Which is wild because I've ordered from them uh, before. I've ordered cases from them before uh, for about the same money, and they're fine, man. I mean... How much money do you need to drop in a hard shell case? Now, a gig bag, that's different. Uh, gig bags are good for, you know, if you have keeping them in your in your closet or a back room. Like, you know, I got some that are still in gig bags. But as far as, uh, you know, if, if I take my guitar out of this house and I'm going to jam somewhere, like with the German Butcher or anything like that, if we're going to have a jam session at his studio, my guitar is going to be in a hard shell case. And... You know, for the most part, because I just, uh, 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 I'm not going to take a chance on that, on it falling over or something. It's, it's just not protected. You know, it's protected if it's in your house, you know, that's fine. But hard shell cases all the way. And hopefully I can get all these phased out. I've only got, uh, I've got maybe six guitars and gig bags uh, left. Everything else is uh, in cases. <laughs> of them back there man i call it the warehouse there is oh my wife's going to end up killing my ass i'm gonna tell you but anyway that's part two this is it for uh you know i ordered from aliexpress i hope you enjoyed the video uh this was really fun um it was it was great to to uh have this over here it was great man it was great i'm very happy so again the links will be in the description if you want to order you one of these guitars again this is just my experience i can't say that it's going to be the same with every guitar proceed at your own risk you know um uh, but I, my experience was a very positive one very cool i'm very happy and uh you know that's it man this is it okay everybody thank you for watching have a, a merry christmas we're getting close and uh, everybody take care. God bless. And I will see you next time around. Bye-bye. She came in.